Hi and welcome to this QuickBooks training video. My name is Lance Wilkins. We're going to take a look at what are some of the new features and improvements coming out in QuickBooks 2012. We're going to look at those that will affect the Pro and Premier editions, those that are check, uh, affecting the Accounts edition or Enterprise. I'm going to leave those for other videos. So the first thing that you're going to notice here uh, as you look at uh, my screen is that we have a list here of memorized transactions. Now this is a sample company I've just opened. So when we had memorized transactions coming due for today we would normally see a message that said you had two memorized transactions uh, to be entered today and then we could elect yes do we want to enter them or not. Well now we have a detailed list so we can see exactly what's being entered. I can change these check marks over here in this left hand column decide I want one of these entered if I want to rather than both of them. I can ch uh, click on the buttons to either enter them all now or enter them all later. As I just have that detail now that I didn't have before and a few more options. I can select individually which transactions I want to uh, select which I, I just did not have that flexibility before. So that's new in 2012. Another new item is the calendar feature what the calendar does is it shows us a calendar, shows us some of the information in QuickBooks based on that calendar. So you see the word on these days it says entered and then a number in parentheses. So how many transactions were entered on each day in QuickBooks. In the sample file it's December 15th. And you can see that's the day that's highlighted. So there were 40 transactions entered on this day into this sample file. And those are uh, detailed in this lower panel right here I can scroll down and I can see exactly what was entered. I can double click on those and pull up the detail as well. There's also an invoice that's due today so there's a customer here that has a $12,000 invoice that's due today uh, I may want to take a look at that. Also items on my to-do list are going to show up and we have some detail on those uh, as well as the invoices over here in this right hand panel as well. So that's almost a graphical way of looking at it. That's going to be a nice feature for some people who would like to look at those things in that way. Since we just mentioned a to-do list, let's go ahead and take a look at that now. It's another thing that has changed considerably for 2012. As soon as you look at the list, you'll see that it's nothing like it was before. We have all these different options that we're sorting by across the top or, or filtering by. Right now we're looking at everything on that to-do list. But that just shows you some of the flexibility that wasn't there before. So here's a new to-do. So what are some of the new things? Well, it can be a type. So it could be a task. It could be a call. It could be an email or an appointment. Once I choose something like call or appointment, I have the option to select a uh, an entry off of the names list. So it could be a customer or a vendor or an employee. A priority can be set. The due date can be set. I can add some notes to this detail section and so forth. This um, takes a feature that was very limited before and really adds some things that are going to make it a lot more useful to people I think in the future. Okay, a little bit of a new name for a feature that we've had for a couple of years. We have a document center now. We've had the ability for a couple of years to save documents and it came out in 2010. It was changed some in 2011, became a fee service. It's no longer a fee service. Now it's free. The online option is gone. Uh, you will be storing documents that you attach to QuickBooks transactions and list items on your computer. Just a caution, if you use the feature, uh, a regular QuickBooks backup will not back up those documents. You need to do that in a separate backup. This is a great feature. Uh, as you see here, you can add a, a file directly from your computer or you can scan it in if you have a scanner. I'm just going to pull something in here from over on the right. So I pulled in a little PDF file that had been scanned earlier. This is a uh, bill from the company's CPA. If I find my vendor center here, here we go. So I'm going to take a look at the vendor center. I'm going to find that CPA on the vendor list. We're going to find the bill that that actually that PDF copy of the paper bill should go to. And there's the bill. So if I double click on that and pull that up, 
you'll see that there's a little paper clip up here. And we will click on that. And then I'm going to pull that transaction. I just did that in the document center, so it was in that general uh, inbox there. But I'm also going to pull it in here, attach it to this document, just for demonstration. Click on Done. There we go. And so now, it, for indefinitely in the future, as long as I've got this file, I now have the paper copy, or at least a picture of that paper copy of the bill, attached to the transaction in QuickBooks. So I could attach it to checks, to invoices, list elements, employees, uh, applications, I-9 forms, W-4s, and so on. All those kinds of things could be uh, scanned in and then attached to the transactions in QuickBooks. So Document Center, I think, is a real nice feature, and uh, I like the way they've done it. I like the online uh, option that they have. There are other services that will offer that, uh, Smart Vault being a good one, so if you're interested in that. Okay. So what else? We have a couple more items. So one uh, real interesting uh, improvement this year is the ability to export reports to Excel and to uh, format them there and then keep the formatting. So I'm just going to give you a real quick look at this. I'm going to create a... You notice there on the menu it had not only create the um, spreadsheet in Excel, but also there's an option there to update. So that would be if I already had a uh, spreadsheet where I had exported this report before. And there it is again, update existing worksheet, which would allow me to export the information or update the information into an existing uh, Excel spreadsheet that I had created from uh, exporting before. It also will create a little icon in uh, the Excel program itself, which will let you update the data directly from there. So it's going to take just a moment as my computer starts Excel. And you can see the messages go by there. Okay, now it's over here on my other monitor. So hold on momentarily. I'm going to pull that over so that you can see it. All right, there we go. Okay, so there's my exported report. Nothing different than before, except that now I have this little QuickBooks section on my Excel menus across the top, and I have this... Uh, option here to update the report. So I'm not going to go through, it's, it would take too much time to go through this, but I can reformat this report, change the fonts, the sizes, and so forth in the way that it looks. And then I can click on this update report and say, you know what, I don't want to look at just December 1 to December 15th. I want to look at the year to date. And I can do that from right here in Excel. And it will pull the information from QuickBooks into Excel into my formatted report and I'll get those new numbers. So that for people that uh, import or export to uh, Excel, that is really a nice new feature. The last thing I want to show you here about QuickBooks 2012 is the Lead Center, which comes off of the customer menu. So there's a new type of name you can add to QuickBooks, and it's called a lead. So someone that you are um, you know, trying to sell to or having discussions with, something like that. It's a very, very simple, very light uh, customer relations management type uh, program. So for a small business that's been keeping track of lead information in Excel or on pencil and paper, something like this, this could be helpful. It will track those leads. And then when the time comes, which hopefully it does, you can turn that lead into a customer. Now, that's not a comprehensive list of everything that's new in 2012, but those are the big things that I see that I think people will be uh, interested in. Uh, any of those that you want to implement, you can dive in and get uh, more detail on those, but that gives you just a brief overview. I hope that's helpful. Thanks for watching.